world with God's glory and believing in God, really making God the king of everything, the ruler of the world. It's easy to think that we make our own destiny, we make our own success, and it's true, we are a huge part of it. But if you don't include a greater power, a higher power in it, and you're not grateful, you can only get so far. At the end of the day, even no matter how hard we're working, God has to bless the riches that come from whatever we're doing. God has to give us the full success of it. So we can kid ourselves and say, hey, I made this, I did this. But if we're not a true vessel of God's light and the talents that we have, we don't give the praise back to God and we don't say, God, I did the work, but God actually finished the job and made it happen. Good luck. <laughs> it's important to be humble and realize that all the wonderful orchestrations in our life from meeting the people that we love to um, even the people that are difficult in our lives that give us, sometimes they're one and the same, but that give us our biggest challenges are all brought to us by one sponsor who wants us to be greater than we were before, greater than we came into this world. And Zion, or the number seven, is all about crowning that being with an ultimate crown. How can we receive our gifts if we're not open to them? Our sages teach us that in order for us to receive the true gifts that are given to us, we have to open up and release any doubt, fear, or complaints that may be within us because if we open up to that, then nothing can stand in our way between us and the blessing that God wants to give us. There's a mushal in the Gemara that actually the book The Alchemist is based on. It's about a guy who goes all over the world searching for buried treasure because he keeps seeing it in his mind's eye that it belongs to him. And sages and prophets keep telling him, no, the treasure is actually under your own floorboards and he doesn't believe them, but it's there. And uh, finally one day at the end of his life, he goes under his bed and starts digging a little deeper and he finds the buried treasure. Very treasure might be right under our nose, but are we really open to it? And are we listening when people who may know a little bit more than us uh, are telling us to look? Are we ready to dig a bit deeper even into what we already have? Or do we have to go traveling all over the world? So this is the Zion, the letter Zion. Our feet are planted firmly in the ground. We're in a Shavasana state. And our body is perfectly aligned, like the bug, and then our head is up like the bug, but we're crowned with God's glory, we crowned God. This 10 day period, we're making God our king, our ruler. So we put a crown on God, that kingly, queenly energy, and then we're, we're imitating it ourselves. So we look way up to the heavens for that that energy. Again, the only thing that stops us from receiving the blessings that God wants to give us is doubt and fear and complaining. If we can get rid of that and throw it into the ocean for good from last year, then we can receive everything God wants to give us. May you receive a wonderful year. Gamar Tov to everyone watching and thank you so much for watching. Shana Tovah.